You want a prediction about the tech news? Yeah. I'll give you one. It's going to be cold. It's going to be gray. It's going to last you the rest of your life. Jeez. Have you not seen Groundhog Day, Bill Murray? Oh. All right, forget it. That's pretty rough. Okay, last night, Jeff Keighley hosted the fifth annual Game Awards with our very own Linus contributing his shill powers to the evening's ads for Samsung QLED TVs. But Microsoft took the opportunity- Linus! Flowplane.com! <laughs> but Microsoft took the opportunity to begin shilling their next-gen console early with the reveal of the Xbox One X. Wait, no, sorry, that's not right, is it? No, that's the current-gen Xbox. The next one is called the Xbox X Square. No, Wait, that's not right either. No. No, no, okay, it's just Xbox, but the first and last X is capitalized. Xbox. Soxa. Boxa. <laughs> okay, no, the real name is the Xbox Series X, and that wasn't a joke, actually. You can't even tell. Yes, the production name for Project Scarlet is Xbox Series X, which seems to imply that the rumored low-power next-gen Xbox will be called the Series S. And Microsoft seems to want people to believe them when they say they care about PCs, because the new Xbox looks just like one, with a square monolithic design meant to stand upright, although apparently you can use it horizontally as well. Although it looks like it definitely won't fit into your media cabinet regardless. We saw a trailer for the first Xbox Series X game, a sequel to, what the f*** is that? Send it with Sacrifice Hellblade. Da, 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 da. What the f***? Xbox Series X game, a sequel to, okay, how do you say this? Senua's Sacrifice. Senua's, okay. A sequel to Senua's Sacrifice, Hellblade, called Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 Electric Boogaloo, apparently, <laughs> apparently rendered in real time on the console. Microsoft says the Series X will support gameplay at 4K and 60fps, ray tracing, variable refresh rate, and full backwards compatibility with Xbox One games and accessories. Well, not a bad spec sheet. PlayStation didn't make any similar proclamations at the show, but we did find out Sony's next console is simply called PlayStation 5, so they might have won simply for having a name that makes sense. Could Thank you. Call it the PlayStation 4 Pro Station. The Pro Station. Play. Okay. But on to the Game Awards themselves. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, wow, that sounds like a James Bond movie, won Game of the Year, beating out heavyweights like Control, Death Stranding, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But Disco Elysium, wow, that's a great name. Disco Elysium arguably had a better night, winning the award for the narrative, RPG, indie game, and fresh indie game categories. Did I pronounce all those names properly, by the I way? Think so. Okay. Be great. As is tradition, we got a metric butt ton of game trailers. How much is a metric butt ton in Imperial units? Alright, but sadly, a plan to show off gameplay from Half-Life Alex was scuttled last minute. But there were a ton of other trailers that looked a little better, including a new one for Ghost of Tsushima and Amazon's fantasy MMO New World. Tabletop games Magic the Gathering and D&D are getting new video game entries with Magic Legends and Dark Alliance. Humankind is basically a civilization game with customizable characters. 9 to 5 is a 3 x 3 tactical shooter. Prologue is a vague new entry from PUBG Corporation. Sons of the Forest is a sequel to survival horror game, The Forest. Gears Tactics is what XCOM is X Gears Tack? What does that mean? It is XCOM. Was basically what it is. Uh, <laughs> and The Wolf Among Us 2 is a sequel to Telltale's original hit. Telltale as a company is no more, but the game is reportedly being produced by the same directors, writer, and composer as the original, which is available free on the Epic Game Store. There are even more games and trailers shown off last night, but what do you think this show is? A listicle? 23 most important moments in TechLink history. You won't believe number 14. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me what time it is, Riley. Okay. All right. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. What, you think I convinced this caterpillar to take up residence on my upper lip through love and friendship? No! It was with the help of a $5 starter set from DSC. Even if you don't have any mouth foliage, DSC can solve all of your grooming needs. They've got shower products, oral care products, hair products, skin products, even butt wipes! And right now, Dollar Shave Club has the holidays covered with gift sets, gift cards, and also their new Roblancho. That's a combination robe, blanket, and poncho. Robloncho. And then there's the Shave Starter Set, which comes with the Executive Razor with six high-quality blades and a three-ounce tube of Dr. Carver's Shave Butter, shipped right to your door. Join the club with the Starter Set for just five bucks, and after that, the Restock Box ships regular-sized products at regular price. Get this deal at dollarshaveclub.com slash techlinked today. Quick bits, they're what does you good. I, I, I guess. I thought, that, I, th I thought that was milk. Okay, anyway, 
AMD launched the RX 5500 XT graphics card yesterday. There's a 4 gig option for 160 bucks and an 8 gig option for 200. Unfortunately, reviews aren't too positive as the 1650 Super looks like a slightly better option at a similar price point. And that's okay. AMD is killing it in the CPU game. Even Michael Jordan was still just okay at baseball. Why did you put a, a thing about- Sports reference. I, he went to UNC. I can't stand him. I'm a Duke grad. Don't do that again. Go Duke. It was a bit scary when Facebook bought Oculus, but the company assured users that their data wouldn't be used to serve them ads. Well, to everyone's surprise, I guess, that deal's off, because Facebook has started requiring Oculus users to log into their Facebook account to use existing social features like joining parties, adding friends, and sending messages. But I'm sure there's no need to worry. It's not like Facebook just had thousands of their employees' financial information stolen because someone had it sitting in hard drives in their car. Wait, that did happen! Uh... No. Womp womp. Ring cameras are starting to look like a bad investment. Boy, I'm surprised. A website called Nold was recently exposed for hosting cheap and easy tools for hacking ring devices. It even had a podcast called the Noldcast, where people bragged about trolling owners of smart home cameras by taking them over and yelling at their owners through the device's built-in speakers. Wow, you did it. You're officially an ass. Can I say that on... Google Assistant can now act as a real-time interpreter. All you have to do is ask it to be my German translator or help me speak Spanish. Well, if you said help me speak Espanol, would that? No. Nope. Which will unfortunately probably make American tourists both less and more obnoxious at the same time. Wow. Are you a tourist? Kind of. Not here, you're not your family. I, I, oh, so it's like the Olive Garden. Hey. Hey. Have another meatball. And researchers in Switzerland have developed shit. Switzerland, Country. cheese, knives, <laughs> offshore bank accounts. And researchers in Switzerland have developed a method for embedding the assembly instructions for an object within the object itself by encoding them in DNA, encapsulating that DNA in tiny glass beads, then adding those beads to plastic as the object is 3D printed. So in the case of an apocalypse where all the engineers die, we'll be able to rebuild. Well, that, that's good because because I'm a lawyer, sort of, and I'll be the first to die. Yeah, I will be less than useless. It will not be useful. Yeah. yeah. Neither will I. <laughs> oh, I can't. All right, speaking of relief, we're finally done with this episode, but seriously, it felt good. Good. But seriously, it felt good to give y'all the tech news again directly. Trying to talk to you through Riley every Monday is so frustrating. What? I do fine. All right, enough. Come back on Monday for more tech news. Until next time.